Ni hazina hiyo baadhi ya magavana kutaka nyongeza ya shilingi bilioni 425 huku serikali ikishikilia kuwa ni shilingi bilioni 380 zilizopo. Je, magavana wataweza kushawishi serikali kuongeza fedha? Baraza la magavana na serikali kuu wamefanya vikao vya kulitafutia ufumbuzi swala la ugavi wa mapato kwa kaunti. Naibu Rais Rigathi Gashagwa akiwa daraja kati ya serikali kuu na serikali za kaunti. Gashagwa na mwenyekiti wa COG Anwar Igoro wamekuwa wakikuna vichwa. Lakini matamshi ya Naibu Rais huenda yakaibua ni peni kupe. 47 is even better. But we don't have it. We only have 38. So if you want to hang us, we are helpless. If you want to remove our trousers and whippers on the batok, go ahead. We don't have the money. Na sisi ni watu ya kuongea ukweli. What we don't want to do is to cheat governors that will give them money that we don't have. Kashagu akielezea magavana kuwa serikali ilikuwa haina fedha na haiwezi kuongeza fedha. If we succeed in increasing revenue from 2.2 billion to 2.2 trillion, to 3 trillion. It is public information. Then we sit down again and calculate and we'll give you your percentage. But right now, this is a figure is what we have. Take a calculator and see what you can get. It is that simple. Hili limewacha magavana wa kila lamika. As county governments, we are demanding for 425 billion Kenya shillings. Whatever is being offered by the national government and by Ivi Sasso of Nongeza, only 5 billion to 385 billion is not acceptable to the counties. Kulingana magavana kuna muhimu wa fedha zaidi kuelekezwa kwenye county, lakini kiongozi wa wengi kwenye bunge la taifa kimani ishongo wa asema ni vya mama magavana kutambua kuwa hamna fedha za kutosha. Look at all the factors, look at what is possible, look at what is not possible, you are elected leaders, you are responsible, and make a fair decision. We are therefore proceeding to Senate so that Senate can also pronounce itself on whether they support devolution. Everybody wants one more, wants more money, including our governors, and therefore they are not being irrational. I think they are just asking for what they think uh, they want to get and what they think will, be, uh, will enable them to be able to offer the best services they can as governors to the people. But again, we have got to be realistic and alive to today's reality. Uh, we know and even our own governors know the kind of uh, economy that this government inherited. They know the state of the economy today. Nipe ni kupe hii ya ugavi wa mapato ikionekana kuwa donda sugu kwenye serikali na utawala wa sasa na wa hapo awali wa raisi uhuru kenyata. Wakati wa utawala wa uhuru, haya haya ya lijitokeza. Wizara ya fedha ikijipata kwenye njia panda. Ikibidi raisi kenyata kuingilia kati. We cannot give that which does not exist. Let us take what we have. Ikiongezeka, tutaongeza. Because sometimes we tend to operate as if money <laughs> is in a tiririka tu. No? Money is limited. Resources are limited. Kwa sasa serikali na jizatiti kwa kikisha kuwa swala hili limetatuliwa mara moja. Ask our governors to be alive to these realities of today's world and today's country and the, way, the state of our economy and allow government an opportunity to put things right. Haya najiri huku mabunge yote mawili ya kitajiwa kurejea vikao jambo la kwanza likiwa kushugulikia bajeti ya mwaka elfumbili shina tatu mwaka elfumbili shirini na nne. Daniel Karioki, KTN News. Na, na mamlaka ya Uganda imewachilia huru wafugaji kumina mmoja wa Kenya walio kamato Uganda. Wafugaji hao kutoka Turkana walitiwa mbaroni miezi mitano iliyopita